forward looking statements. That's what most people do, which would be like, you know, the, the forecast, which when I say a forecast, I'm really thinking more sales. And then um, some people also do a full P and L budget, right? Full P and L budget. So that is really like, if I, if I look at everybody that I've worked with and the people that are charging for CFO, that is the biggest thing that they offer. Now, let me just be transparent on this and say that some people say that they're doing CFO services, but really they're just doing a lot of AP and AR support and they're charging four or five grand a month, but really they're, they're doing more bookkeeping than they are this. This is where you're truly having, you're, you're using the information, whether you created it, you know, because you have two tiers or somebody else created it and you're using that information to develop forward looking statements and have a meeting with that business owner and plan on how to increase sales, increase margins, hold their team accountable. And you're almost, the, and, and the real values in those conversations, which you and I have actually practiced a number of times on these calls, right? That is, you know, of course the forward looking statements you're gonna be able to put together. The second piece to that is gonna be the conversations. And that's where you're gonna have to practice. And, you're, and you have, to, and I would say that you have to get better at that. And I would say that because because of the way that we've spoken, I think you know that you have to get better at that. And to be honest, we all do. But you're not going to get better at that without talking to people and trying. Like I'm gonna, I'll, I'll give you more of our training. You go through our CFO training and our CFO bootcamp training. You're gonna get a lot, but you have, you, you know, you cannot do it without getting out of the game. Doesn't matter how many pickup lines you read, you still right. got to talk to these girls, right? And you're gonna, and you're gonna fail. And if you lost a couple of clients in, in the course of a two-year period because the conversations got st stale, I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna learn way more. Uh, by, by doing that, then you are uh, in losing money from losing some of these recurring clients. So forward-looking statements, the conversation. But what I really like to see is people that have something unique for a persona, right? So you look at somebody like Brad who has incentive uh, plans for hygienists, love that, right? You look at Tasha who's built out really a strong offering for a nonprofit. You look at um, – uh, you look at Tom, who really understands the project costing and profitability side of construction. Um, you, you know, there's, there are, these people are all doing it for a specific industry niche. Um, and that really, and then you've got, I mean, you've got so many examples of that. When you, that is really, I think, where there's an opportunity to create a lot deeper of a transformation because, you know, you can literally sit down with a construction company and ask them questions and be like, yeah, you guys have misestimated every job. And right now, based on the way you're estimating your three jobs in the pipeline right now, it's impossible to make gross profit. And so here's the estimations process you guys need to be using. You are not expected to know that right now. And it's pretty much impossible for you to know that. I don't even know how to do that because it's not my niche, right? It's not right. my persona. It's not the people I've dedicated my life and my business to focus on. So you don't have to know that. You shouldn't know that. It's, it starts off with do this. Once you get three clients doing this through the conversation, learn things from them, steal those things from them, regurgitate those things to other clients that are lacking on them and keep learning, learning more and more about that persona. So that is the journey that I would go. And, and you want it to be something that is easier than that. But I mean, there's the exact templates for you to do forward looking statements, be it a cash forecast. That's the other thing too, cash forecast. Um, you know, there's absolutely all the templates that all these other guys do. It's the basics. It's the basics and where you really become valuable on the CFO side is your interpretations analysis and how well you are teaching that to your team. So when these business owners get on the call every single month, be it 30 minutes or an hour, be it with you or somebody else from the team, they feel like they're getting value and they're growing in their business every single month. That's where most of the value comes. Mm -hmm.